Hello! Thank you for joining me today in learning about how to use Club Runner. Today, we will be discussing how you can go about editing your website's navigation menu. Club Runner's website live designer will allow you to customize just about every aspect of your website, including the navigation menu at the top of each page. The navigation menu will contain links to important pages and will help make navigating around your website much easier. Let's get started. The first thing you will need to do is log into your club's website. Once you are logged in, click on New Website Beta in the top navigation menu, and then Home Page Designer in the secondary menu just below. Please note that to access the Website Designer, the Site Administrator Access Level or Role is required. Once the Website Live Designer has been opened up, we can see a preview of our website on the left-hand side. To start editing our navigation menu, hover your mouse cursor over the preview, and then click on Edit Navigation. This will bring us to the Manage Homepage Menu screen. On this page, you will see a list of our current navigation menu items, each with their own icon to quickly identify what type of menu item has been used. You may notice some menu items with a folder icon. These folders will allow you to create drop-down menus within your navigation bar. And by clicking on the arrow next to the folder icon, you can either expand, or collapse the folder. This will allow you to hide or show the submenu items within the folder while you're working on building your navigation menu. Here's a quick example of what these folders can look like on our homepage menu. By hovering our mouse cursor over the About Our Club menu item, a drop-down menu will appear containing all of the different menu items that we've included within the About Our Club menu folder. You can even insert additional folders to create more drop-down menus within this drop-down menu as well. Now back on the Manage Homepage menu screen, we can start editing our navigation menu by adding a new top-level menu item. To do this, simply click on the Add New Menu Item button. Here we can begin entering the details for our new menu item. The menu title field is what will be displayed as text within your navigation menu and what visitors will see when they come to your website. The tooltip field will be displayed to visitors when they hover their mouse cursor over your menu item. It can be used to provide the user with a description of what this menu item will lead them to. However, this field is completely optional and can be left blank if you choose to do so. Finally, we have our link type field. This field will allow us to determine how our new menu item will function and what type of content the item will link to. Let's quickly go over some of the different link types that are available. Folder link type will allow you to create a menu item that you can be used to insert additional menu items within it. This will create a drop-down menu like we saw earlier, and you can even insert folders within other folders to continue on creating additional submenus within the drop-down menu. Next, we have the built-in page link type. The built-in page link type will allow the club to select between several pages which have been pre-generated by Club Runner using content you have already created within your website. By clicking on the Pages menu that has just appeared, you'll see a list of all of the various different built-in pages that are available to you. For example, if you select the Stories page, this will link visitors to a list of the club's published stories. Or you can select the event calendar page to display a calendar which will outline all of the club's upcoming events. Next, we have the event link type. The event link type will allow you to direct users to the sign up page for one of the club's upcoming events, which has been created within either Event Planner or My Event Runner. As you can see, a new drop-down menu has appeared titled Events, and if we click on it, you can see a list of all of the different upcoming events that our club has created. And by selecting one of these events, our menu item will begin to link directly to the registration page for the selected event. Next, we have both the custom page and the site page link type. Both of these link types will allow you to select between any of the additional pages that your club might have created within Club Rent. By selecting Custom Page, you will be prompted with a list of the club's custom pages, while selecting Site Page will prompt you with a list of the club's site pages. By clicking on the triangle arrow icon when selecting a site page, 
This will show you a list of subpages that you can select between as well. Finally, we have the custom URL link type. This link type will allow you to link users to an external website. For example, if you'd like to share a link to donate to a fundraiser that happens to be on another organization's website, this will allow you to enter the correct web address so that users can quickly access that page from your navigation menu. Of course, these are just a few of the link type options that are available to you. If you would like more information on each of the individual link types, please see our How Do I Build the Navigation Menu Knowledge Base article on our clubrunnersupport.com website. You may have also noticed some additional options that are listed here as well. The Open in a New Window option will make it so that your navigation menu item will open up its page within a new browser tab or window, rather than navigating away from your current page. Finally, we have the link style option. This will allow you to adjust how your navigation menu items will appear in your navigation menu. Please note, the link style is only supported with top level menu items within next gen themes. Here are some examples of how these options can appear. The colors may differ depending on your selected theme. For now, let's go ahead and select the folder link type and we're also going to enter our menu title as well. After selecting your link type and including any of the necessary fields, go ahead and click on the Save button to finalize your new menu item, or you can click on the Cancel button if you have changed your mind. After saving your new menu item, you can see that it has been added to the bottom of the list. In this case, since we created a folder, we can now choose to add additional menu items within the folder to create a drop-down menu on our homepage. To do this, go ahead and click on the Add Menu Item action. This will bring us to the Add Homepage Menu Item screen once again. From here, we can follow the exact same steps that we reviewed earlier to select and create a new menu item. In this case, let's go ahead and we'll create a custom URL link type. Once again, when you're happy with the information that you've entered for your new menu item, go ahead and click on the Save button. We can now see that the new menu item that we just created has been added as a sub-menu item within the folder we created previously. After creating some new menu items, you may wish to rearrange them so that they appear in the order that you would like. To do this, you can click and drag on the three dots which are called grab points, to move your menu items around. As you are moving your item around, you may see some indicators that appear that will help in determining where your item will be placed. For example, the solid line appearing between two menu items indicates that the item you are moving will be placed between them. However, if you see a red box surrounding a section, this means that it will be placed as a sub-menu item, creating a drop-down menu. Once you are ready to place your menu item, simply let go of your mouse button and it will be placed wherever the indicator was positioned. Once you are happy with your navigation menu, go ahead and click on the Publish Menu button, and then click OK. This will finalize all of the changes that we've just made and have them appear on our live website. You can now navigate back to your homepage to check out all of the changes that you've just made. Thank you for joining me today in learning how to edit your website's navigation menu. Feel free to check out our other video tutorials on the clubrunnersupport.com website. Take care.